here is the freshman physics definition, meaning the definition that's useful if you're doing homework problems of Lenz's law. Basically, it's a way to get the induced current direction without thinking about A. So there's always that step where it's like, which way was A, which way is the current positive? You can skip all that if you use Lenz's law. So let's do a couple of the old cases that we already did. Here is a current loop, or here is a wire loop. Here is a bar magnet. North, south, field lines like that. Uh, going out like that, and the bar magnet going like that. So you might just ask yourself, which way is current going to go? So you just look at this and you say, okay, if the bar magnet's moving like this, the B field is this way, and it's increasing this way. Right? The B field is getting, the, the, the flux of the B field this way is going up because it's getting closer to the higher intensity region. If that's the case, if the B field is increasing due to the B this way, then Lenz's law says the induced current will make a B that way. You can quickly do a right-hand rule and say it's like that by Lenz's law. You have to write all that stuff down. Let's do another one. Loop, north, south. Now let's let it go this way. All right, well, it's the same drawing, pretty much. Uh, just going like that. And that is going like that. But now we're pulling it back. Okay, so we have a B field pointing this way, but it's getting smaller. And Lenz's law says you want to oppose the change. Okay? If the B field this way is getting smaller, you want to make a B field this way. You oppose the change in the B field. So if you want to make a B field this way, right hand rule says you go around that way. So now the current goes that way. There you go. Or we can go back to this problem. Remember, we had a big wire like this, current going like that, big strong B field going into the board there. Yeah, and then it gets weaker and then weaker, and say we have a, a loop that we just drop, and it falls due to gravity. Which way is the current going to go? Well, the B field is going in, and it's getting smaller, so you want to oppose the change. You want to make it get bigger, so you make a B field in the same direction. It better go this way. So Lenz's law will get it for you quickly. All you got to remember is that it forms a magnetic field that always opposes the change and the one that induced it.